We, we all talk about how complex the brain is, but it's very difficult to define. And so all of a sudden we can, we have the tools to be able to define that complexity. The Allen Institute started 20 years ago. It does things a bit differently than, than other research institutions. We do big uh, moonshot projects in life sciences that last sometimes 10, 15 years, where teams of um, interdisciplinary scientists answer a specific question, and then we share openly with, with the world. So it's really about understanding um, the components of the brain, and then once you understand that, then we can take the next approach for diseases, what is going on, how is it affecting specific types, because we know that it's just not killing everything. It's, it's, it's very selective in terms of what cell types are being targeted in certain diseases. And that's, uh, we have a, a recent study that's looking at Alzheimer's. Really, it's a whole new research area that's been opened up by uh, by new technologies that we can now start to really understand the human brain, what's unique about the human brain, what happens in disease, and come up with new ways to think about treatments for those diseases. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.